all right guys so this is tutorial number five table tags and in this tutorial i'll be discussing everything that is to discuss about table and uh, hopefully at the end of this tutorial you will learn everything that is to learn as far as tables are concerned so this is the first uh, tutorial that I, uh, in which i'm writing the codes in notepad plus plus now i hope you guys have installed this so software in your systems and uh, so uh, there is one more change uh, you know I have the first tag as uh, you know a uh, less than sign exclamation mark doc type space HTML. So this tag is basically to uh, this tag this this tells our browser browser that uh, the file that we are going to create is actually a HTML file. So and before proceeding any further, wish uh, let's go ahead and save it. Let's say I'll save it as index and uh, select the file type as hypertext markup language and uh, so what happens is uh, this is something that i discussed in the last tutorial also when we save when we save the file in notepad plus plus we get this small boxes you know you can uh, collapse uh, each of them so this is very very useful so let's go ahead and begin with table so again uh, we have a table opening tag and we also have a table closing tag again it's a pair tag so let's create a table closing tag so you see now i have this sub menu i can again collapse the table and again i can again expand the table so whenever you are creating a a, a, a pair tag so uh, you know you have this sub menu created where you can collapse and expand that that particular pair tag so so we have started making our table so um, uh, you know table will have rows as well as columns so um, if you want to uh, for example if i want to introduce a new row so the tag for it is tr and again i have a closing uh, tr uh, tr stands for table row so uh, uh, let's say i want i want a table that should have two rows as well as two columns so i'll just copy it and i'll paste it again so now my table has two rows now in one row if i want two entries so this is my first row and tr stands for table rows so naturally you think for table column we should have tc but for some reason we have td td actually stands for table data so if you want to create a column if you want to create a column so you have to use this td and let's say uh, i want my first entry again we, ha we have a closing td tag now i'm in my first row right now and in my first column so this is my first entry let's say i write something as monday again i'll copy this And let's go ahead and paste it so this is my second uh, second column and still i'm in my first row so uh i'll just uh, take the entry to tuesday so now we have one row in which i have two columns and the first column my entry is monday second column my entry is tuesday now let's go ahead to the second column and uh, let's say on monday we again have to create two entries so again we'll yeah, use the uh, table data tags so uh, and again I, I, i'll create two entries so i've pasted this uh, this twice so let's say on monday i sleep and on tuesday I, I i study let's say even though i don't so this is uh, now i'll just uh, save and i'll show you uh, what we what we what we will see in our browser so i'll just save it and again you can uh, you know this is, we have a run menu here so you can go to run and choose whatever whatever browser you want so uh, i'll select launch in chrome so now you see this is my table so uh, uh, when i select all all this text when you know when i double click on all this so you can see i have uh, i have a border which is actually not visible now this is because i have not mentioned my the uh, i've not mentioned the border bit now again i have this table so i have an attribute called border and um, in the attribute i can fill any uh, any number let's say i want my uh, border to be of five bit so again i'll save it and i'll go to chrome and refresh it so now you see that i have a table with a border which corresponds to uh, whose width actually corresponds to five
so now i have this table and i have a beautiful border i i can also change the color of the border uh, and the attribute is called border color so uh, let's say if i want my uh, the color of my border to be of red color so again i i can just enter the sorry 0000, zero, zero, zero. so this is actually the color coding for uh, red color so again i'll save it and i'll show you the difference see now now my border is of red color now uh, not to confuse between rows and columns now this monday as well as tuesday this is actually a row and this monday and sleep this is actually a column so rows are horizontal and columns are vertical so my table right now has two rows uh, this monday tuesday is the row one and sleep study is row two and i have two columns monday sleep as well as tuesday study so uh, let's go back to the co coding again tr stands for row and td stands for column so these are actually the basics of creating a table now i'm trying to make shorter tutorials so i'll end this one here and in the next tutorial probably i'll i'll be discussing all the other attributes and uh, uh, with the example of making a timetable so uh, again thanks for watching and again you can subscribe to my channel